one? Yep. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a pedograph of the customer's foot. So this right here is a pedograph. It's called a Harris mat. These are available through rubyleather.com. And this is just a bottle of ink. This particular bottle of ink doesn't want to come <laughs> out. There's ink in it, you just can't get it out. Now it's at this point that customers always want to know if they should take off their socks. Because they think that they're going to step in the ink and then step on paper. That is not the way this works. Another thing, you want to always stand your customer next to a wall or a display case or something they can hold on to for balance because if you do this in the middle of the room, they grab your head for balance. So we're going to take a piece of paper. The Harris mat, the pedograph, comes with a sheet of paper. But once it's gone, if you want, you can just buy a, a packet of, nine, of eight and a half by 14 paper, legal size paper, and go to the copy store and have it chopped off however wide this is. It's about five inches wide. And then use that. So I've inked this. Now I'm going to close this mat. There's a sheet of rubber that is suspended above the paper now. Okay, Paige, I want you to step forward. Put Yes, put that foot right in the center of the blue. I'm going to help you lower this foot. Once you get this foot evenly balanced, once you get that foot down, stand evenly balanced. Customers, sometimes they want to raise the other foot or they want to roll this foot around. Don't let them do it. Just stand evenly balanced. Lift this foot up straight up and step back. There you go. And now, oh, such a pretty little foot. Same thing for the other side. We're just going to smear this ink around again. Put the piece of paper in, the rubber over, flip it around. Now I want you to put your right foot in the center of the blue. I'll help you lower your left foot straight down, evenly balanced. All right, now lift your left foot straight up, step back. There we go. Pedograph of both feet. And if you want my advice, you should sign and date. Write the customer's names on both of the pedographs and put the date. And that way you won't have a pedograph floating around your shop that you don't know who it belongs to or maybe you have a pedograph for the same customer but you don't remember which one you did first. Always put the customer's name and the date on it. All right, we've demonstrated how to use the pedograph. And now I'm going to tell you what to do with the information you get from the pedograph. What I have here is my own measurements and my own fitted last. And then my own pedograph. And if you'll notice when I put my last on my pedograph, it exactly precisely covers the pedograph. I've got the heel exact, the ball exact, in here that curve is the same. So that's what I want to see. And this is a size 4A last. So here I've got a size 4A last that hasn't been customized. And if you'll notice, my ball measurement is 8 inches. So when I measure this last, it's only 7.5. So I know that, that I'm lacking half an inch. What the pedograph tells me is where that half an inch goes. Because you've got eight inches here. Okay, for some people, that eight inches looks like this. And for some people, that eight inches looks like this. Your girth can, can be distributed in different ways. The pedograph tells you where it goes. So I lay this last on the pedograph and I realize, oh, I can see ink off each side. So I know that, that my buildup needs to be on the edges, like this. So I need to add some on the edge until I reach the proper width and measure and, and see if I've got enough or not too much. Some people, I've measured some people to where I know I'm half an inch too small. I lay it on the pedograph and it's perfect. My pedograph doesn't show me anywhere to put it. And so in that case, I would probably choose to wrap the last 
with a piece of leather like this. I'm not going to go out on the edges very much with this at all, if any, but I'm going to get some extra height. And so that's what you learn from the pedigraph. Your, the tracing gives you the length. You use the tracing to choose the proper length for the last. The measurements tell you the girth, how much volume is there. And the pedigraph tells you where that volume goes.